Well, I have a customer who's got a problem with their variable mechanism on the Hermes 3000. And the way it works, when you push the knob in, it engages the gear, the line space gear, so that you get the detent, ratcheting, and what have you. If you want to change your line completely, you can pull the knob out. That gives you a soft roll, but also allows you to change the line you're typing on. Good if you're filling out a form or you have to line, uh, line up with something. Soft roll, push it in, detent. Now, the problem was that this screw right here came out. I'm gonna take the screw out, show you how this works. It's a little bit tricky on the uh, Hermes, the variable. And the way it works, I have to get the screw out of here first. I'm trying to do this with the camera running is a little difficult. But we'll see if we can do it, you can see it. This is a special screw. I don't know if you can see this. It has a, n a nub on the end of it that is not threaded. I don't know if we can see this properly, but it is not threaded. The reason for that is that it has to go through here and into a notch. There is a notch in the platen shaft. I don't know if you can see this notch right here. That nub goes into that notch. If you tighten it into somewhere around here, obviously nothing will work. It won't move. So it has to be into that notch. And that notch, this is the variable mechanism when this pushes in, this hub is on the platen shaft. When it goes in, there's two springs inside there, little leaf springs, that engage the ratchet. Here's a little better view of it. Now it's freewheeling, but when I push this in, these springs right there will engage the gear. Now it's solid, it will not move. When you pull it out, those springs disengage this gear, allowing you to freewheel and reset your line wherever you want. And when you push it back in, it locks it. But the screw goes in here and it has to be lined up with this notch so that when you push the knob in and out that this screw is into, it moves this in and out. This is that limits it. That little nub limits the travel. So when you put that screw in, you have to make sure that it's going into that flat notched area. So it'd be inside here, you just line it up and put the screw in. Just like here, I'm gonna line that flat spot up we can see it's right there. So we line it up, put the knob on, put the screw with the washer. If you don't put the washer on, this little narrow washer, this will go in too far and it won't, it won't allow this to slide back and forth. So I hope that explains it. It's a little bit of a complex mechanism. Took a while to get used to all the idiosyncrasies. You gotta make sure those little springs don't come off too. There's two little springs in here. Very fine springs that go into this notch. You can barely see them. Here, you can see them a little better. The springs. There's one right there. And there's one on the other side, which has to engage with these two notches here. What is this little spring-loaded shoes that those leaf springs will kick out and cause this not to spin.
So when you push this in, it will go into those. <laughs> this is a shaft from a long carriage machine. If you push that in, the springs will, so it won't rotate. When you pull it out, it moves easily. Push it in, locks it up. Very simple. So that's how it works. Hope that explains it.